Today's youth is going to be inheriting a world that by 2050 will have less fresh water, will be facing the collapse of nearly every major seafood species, and will have two and a half billion extra people to feed. So if we really truly want to create a better world for the people that we care about the most, then we've really got to start changing the way that we think. 100 Gardens, we create engaged and exciting learning opportunities in schools, incarceration facilities, and communities of need. And we use aquaponics as a platform for teaching STEM, business, marketing, and a whole array of life skills. So aquaponics is the raising of fish and plants in a symbiotic environment. The fish create nutrients in the water, and those nutrients provide fertilizer for plants to grow. The plants remove those nutrients from the water, returning clean water back to the fish. So the first thing we found out that we didn't really even understand was how profound aquaponics is as an educational platform. It begins with the fish. It changes the way you think. It actually changes your thought process from a linear to a three-dimensional closed loop way of looking at everything. They get really interested. Every kid gets interested in that. So that opens it up. It's the beginning of a conversation. Uh, just as in nature, fish and plants grow very nicely together. Well, in aquaponics, we step in and try to take advantage of the symbiotic relationship between the plants and animals, harvest the fish and harvest, harvest the plants, and, and are able to produce all the things that we need to eat. And just as the, the phrase, you can either give a man a fish or teach him how to fish, we actually go a step beyond that and teach them how to grow fish. We put aquaponics in schools to give STEM education to the students and work with teachers to help facilitate that. After we build the facility, we provide uh, professional development to teachers on how to use our curriculum. And we can take what's already existing that's great in public schools, and we can enhance it. And we do that through aquaponics. When we're able to integrate that within our current education system and teach STEM and teach these valuable life skills, we can truly take this and turn it into a very holistic and very effective way of learning that takes a normal lesson plan in science and brings it to real life. I was working at a hydroponics retail store and one day a guy came into my store and he asked me for advice on hydroponics. He had this crazy idea about what if we installed hydroponic gardens and showed people how to farm. I looked up Ron Morgan and it turned out that he was a really big deal. So I called him back and I said, you know, what I think you're working on is really important and I'd like to help you do it. And I'd like to introduce you to a technology I've been researching called aquaponics. So then we started going through plans of how we we're gonna build an aquaponics prototype system. We didn't really do a whole lot until we met Charlie Oliphant, who then came in and said, well, let's just go ahead and build one and see what happens. My commitment started with my commitment to Ron. I've always had a deep respect for him. It was very, he was very passionate about it. I was committed to the passion that I saw in Sam also. And between him and Ron, it was pretty infectious. As we were building it um, and running it, we had kids walking by with their parents and they started seeing the fish growing in the, in the tank and they saw the plants growing in the pipes and everything. And they started asking if they could help run it. So in order to run an aquaponic system, you have to do water tests for pH and nitrogen and all these other things. And so we started teaching these young kids in the neighborhood how to do it. And before we knew it, we had parents coming up to us saying, why is my child talking about science at dinner when they're only 10 years old? You know, what are you guys up to? And then that's when we sort of had our discovery moment that what we were doing was actually teaching in a really hands-on way and in a way that it was addressing food production, environmental sustainability, and STEM and nutrition all at the same time. So we ran that for a couple of years and then Ron started to feel kind of ill and he told us, you know, I'm just, I, by about two o'clock every day, I just feel shot. Ron passed away in June of 2016, and at that point, 
you know, we didn't really know what was going to happen, and we really had a choice whether or not we were going to use um, the inspiration for Ron to keep going, or if we were just going to split up and do something else. And we decided that we were going to turn this thing into a literal 100 gardens the way Ron had always saw it. And since then, um, we're now on our 11th school garden out of 100, and we're gonna keep going until we hit that goal. The aquaponics programming in these schools helps students understand how interconnected everything is. Imagine if you had 200 students per school that were going through an aquaponics program, and you had 100 schools going. That would be 20,000 students a year that you'd have changing the way they think about how they exist here on this planet. So in 10 years, that would be 200,000 students. If you consider the city of Charlotte, we have 800,000 people right now. That's a quarter of our population. That would be having those new experiences. But when you run an aquaponics system, you see how fragile this ecosystem really is. If we could have enough schools with this kind of programming, you could shift the way a whole generation thinks about how they treat the world. And you would think that that kind of compassion and empathy you build that way would translate into better human connections, better connections with ourselves and better connections with the world we live. I'm Charles Oliphant and I'm asking you to make a contribution to 100 Gardens so we can bring this program to more students, more schools in this area. Hi, my name is Monty Thompson with 100 Gardens. We're asking you to donate this year to 100 Gardens Contribute at 100gardens.org. 100 days for 100 gardens.